Hey guys, welcome to SS Unit Tech Social Decide. And today we are going to see one of the real time interview question and answer. So, recently one of my friend has attended interview on PWC. So, this question was asked on PWC. So, what is the question? So, here let me quickly show the data set. So, in this data set, we can see the sales data. So, like the sale order ID, date, customer ID, quantity, value, country, and city. So mainly we are having this value. Let me quickly go and try to understand the requirement. So the requirement is very straightforward. Here we have this metric table and under this metric, we are having the aggregated data on the country level and under that country, we are having the data for the cities. So the requirement is we can see the quantity is the first column after the country and city. Then the next column will be the value. The third column that we need to write some DAX formula to create this table column and in this column if we can go under the aggregated level which is the country level then we will see the value on that column. Once we will go under the city level then we should see the quantity instead of the value. So like the single column is going to treat as the multiple like the aggregate level it is showing the values and on the city level it is showing the quantity so how we can achieve this so for that we are required to write the DAX formula and need to create one measure so let me quickly go in the another power bi report and here we don't have any measure so let me try to create a new measure so in this measure we are going to use the sum formula and has one value so these two formula we are required to use. So first we need to understand about the has one value. So what is the has one value? Let me call this measure as has one value. And here we can see the formula which is has one value. So has one value we need to specify the column name. So let me quickly try to specify the city. So what this will do? this will be going to check on the row basis if any city is available and only a single city should be there if the city is there then it will return true otherwise this formula will return false so let me try to drag and drop here so as we can see here the first row which is returning false the second which is on the city is returning true similarly we can see the below as well for the aggregated level that is the country mainly so it is running false otherwise true so let me try to create one more measure and on that measure we will be going to check if this value is false then we need to display values if it's true then we need to write the quantity so let me quickly call this as calculation value so here we need to check so we need to write the if condition if has one value of the city is true if it's true then we need to return the sum of the quantity if that value is false then we need to return the sum of value and then we can close the bracket so this is very straightforward formula so you can remember like has one value is very important so it is checking on the row basis and if a single value of the given column is there then it will return the value otherwise it will return the false so as we can see here the aggregated level it's returning false and on the city level because we are getting the only single cities so that's why it is returning true so let me try to use this after this has one value so now we can see we have achieved what we have discussed if we can go here on the country level then we can see the value once we drill down on the city level then we can see the quantity a single column is having multiple behaviors so that we have seen so this is very important and most of the interviewer is asking this question so thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next video